Hello everyone, welcome to our video Securing Infrastructure with CI-CD Pipeline using Secure DevOps Kit for Azure. So in this video, we are going to have an overview about Secure DevOps Kit for Azure so we understand who is developing the tool, how we can get more information about the practices and the implemented component. Then we will get an overview about scanning infrastructure using Azure DevOps Kit a pipeline extension for Azure Pipeline. So we get an overview about this extension as a part of the DevOps Kit for Azure. Then we will talk about security verification test as a part of the build and deployment pipeline using the DevOps Kit for Azure Pipeline extension. Then what is the process for security uh, or check for security as a part of the CI-CD pipeline here? We will just explaining the, the typical process for securing or for scanning for security as a part of the pipeline. Then we will see a demo which include installing the, the extension on the Azure pipeline, then configure a build definition, which will run an Azure pipeline to scan an infrastructure as a part of the continuous integration uh, pipeline. But first, let me give you a quick introduction about myself. My name is Mohammed Radwan. I'm a developer technologies MVP and principal DevOps consultant. I have been doing software development for more than 15 years now working on several projects for different enterprise customers across different regions and countries. I heavily participated in the community, developed several frameworks, presented many sessions, holding various certificates for Azure and DevOps. I started back in 2002 as a classic ASB developer, relocated multiple times in multiple countries, worked with several technologies and for different roles and positions. And for the last eight years, I moved to consultancy-based role where I focused more on helping different companies, some of them from the Fortune 500, to improve their software development and delivery using DevOps and automation. I have developed and authored several frameworks, command line tools, and guides. You can find them on GitHub and Azure DevOps Marketplace. I like to share my experience. This is why I have a YouTube channel and blog where they have hundreds of videos and posts that share different topics from my real experience. I have presented many sessions in several user group, conferences, events, and customer sites as well in different countries. So I got the chance and the opportunity to work in different culture, project size, and company size as well, which helped me to have different experience. Here some links for my activities. Secure DevOps Kit for Azure. It is developed internally inside Microsoft and they share it with their customers. So it is an open source on GitHub and it is group of PowerShell commandlet, extension, plugins, guidelines, and security best practices. It can provide to secure the subscription for policies, rule-based access control, configuration, etc. You can watch this video for more information about Kubernetes cluster, how to deploy Docker image to Azure Kubernetes service, and how to configure CI CD pipelines for an end-to-end -end development and deployment scenario. It also can provide a security intelligence for coding, as well as ad hoc security verification test. It also has an extension for Azure Pipeline to support security scanning for infrastructure as a part of the pipeline, and also provide a continuous assurance runbook security scan, which will create an Azure automation with runbook that can run in a schedule to scan the Azure subscription. It also provides an analytics and alerting with monitoring for monitoring and alerting vulnerabilities, as well as risk governance. So it can run against your environment that cover over 30 Azure services today. It has more than 290 security control, and it gives a report with a fixed script. Microsoft run this tool internally with Azure Automation, to scan their Azure subscription once a day as a part of their continuous assurance inside Microsoft. So how to scan for infrastructure using Azure DevOps Kit pipeline extension? So first we need to install a DevOps Kit extension on our Azure DevOps organization. And as we can see, once we install the extension, we have two tasks. 
the first is to scan the actual infrastructure you can watch this video for more information about docker containerization and where and how docker can fit with devops and ci cd pipelines to so we can understand the, the drift status and the, the second one is to check for the arm template or the infrastructure as good for preventing creating insecure environment so once I have that, so what is the typical process? Usually I have the code once I develop my code to the dev environment. And then if I want to promote my application from dev environment to the testing environment, I will run the security scan as a part of the pipeline to scan the next environment. So in this case, we during the deployment, we will run the security scan part of the pipeline to scan the test environment. And if it is passed the security, the desired security controls, then we will deploy or promote our application to this environment. The same will happen for the next environment. So we scan the target environment before we deploying our application to make sure that it satisfy our security compliance. If it is not then this will fail the build automation so i can understand that my environment is not secure and this will prevent the deployment to the next stage so let's have a demo about how we are going to do that i have a resource group i created just with a standard template for windows 10 virtual machine and then with creating the machine, it's just creating a storage account and virtual network. So this is a standard template for Windows 10 machine. Now this is a third part, which is running the scan as a part of the pipeline CI CD. So first I will go to the pipeline, create a new pipeline. I will use the classic. And here I will choose an empty pipeline I will leave it and here I will add az sk searching for that so it's not installed so I will get it for free install the extension on my organization you can watch this video for more information about Git with animation. You will see different animated commands like branch, merge, rebase, cherry pick, and many others. Now it is installed. Then refresh so I can add. So search for easy SK. Now we can see that this is the two types of tasks. The first is to scan the ARM template or the infrastructure as code. And the second to scan the actual environment, which is in our case, we will use this one to scan the resource group. And here I will authenticate to my Azure subscription. I just need to authorize that. Prompt it for my account just to authorize then here i will choose that i want to give the resource group name and here i will put my resource group name and my subscription id then queue the build so this will queue the build so getting the agent this repo just has a readme file, so it's, it doesn't include anything. Check out the files. And as we can see, it will start running the security verification test, installing the security kit, importing the module, running the scan. So it will do the same tasks we're doing them on the machine. And now it's running the scan. This is for the first resource and this is for the second resource and this is the third and last resource. Now we have 28 resource and because the build failed, the build failed because the security 
scan fill so this will fill the build at the end i would like to thank you for watching the video please if you have any question or comment don't hesitate to reach out you can find more information on my blog which will appear at the end of the video along with some other related video thank you